Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to look at the point and polygon problem. Uh, I think this is an interesting uh, but simple problem to do and it's kind of fun to do uh, in Dynamo. Um, I'd recommend checking out Grasshopper if, uh, if that's your preferred tool and trying to do it in there. Um, when I first got into this problem I thought it was going to be a bit more difficult than it was. Uh, especially after reading this point and polygon in Python example. There's a lot of code there. Uh, so it kind of looked overwhelming, but then after reading a bit more about it, understanding what it was, it's actually really simple. Um, it's also referred to as like the even odd algorithm, crossing numbers, Jordan's cur um, Jordan's algorithm. There's some links here. Also, if you want to Google these, uh, feel free. I'll try to remember to put them below. This is in Notion, which I totally recommend checking out. I've also created a link here that just takes you to a script of uh, the one we're going to look at today and it's got the DYN and then some images and let me show you guys this real quick so this is uh, like a geometry problem I guess a, co a common one uh, I think there's a whole bunch of different ones but here's some that are listed so point and polygon uh, the pip problem um, the shortest path problem closest pair of points I'm listing these here and having pages set up because I really want to understand computational geometry and uh, this is just a way of me documenting it and challenging myself. Uh, so I've been trying to understand this stuff more and then also creating scripts and I'll continue to add to that list and uh, to this computational design notebook and at some point when I get everything uh, a bit more organized I will share that with everybody and then you guys can add to it or use it however way you want so I showed you that piece uh, the other piece is that this will be the script that I'm going to show you is going to be in uh, Git, uh, in github uh, in this repo here all sorts of dynamo scripts this one's kind of weird because I, when I originally set up this repo, I kind of messed it up and I haven't cleaned it up. But you can see here it's got two different folders. I don't know why, but if you click on the one that I think has like an uppercase computational geometry, you'll find uh, the point in Polygon right here. Uh, so feel free to download that and just, you know, play around with it. So... I guess before I get started showing you this script, the reason why I think these problems are interesting and important is because sometimes they're foundational to the bigger problems that you might solve in the future. So understanding these I think is important because I've used uh, vectors before, I've used lines, I've had to do all sorts of things with points. Um, so before you dismiss this as an unpractical uh, problem, I would recommend just playing around with it because there's things that you can extract from this and apply in various ways on, on your own projects. So download it, see kind of how it goes from node to node, and um, and yeah, and try to learn something. So this is in Dynamo. You can see here that in the background we've got a visual of a polygon and then a line uh, segment. In the, I think in the Wikipedia page, if you read it, it says like an infinite line in a, uh, a direction. Here we've got a line segment, but you can see it extends uh, pretty far out there. The way that this works, and this is what I mean, like this is really simple. Uh, and I'll explain a bit about this graph because a lot of this actually isn't about solving the problem. Only a small uh, portion of it is. So we've got a polygon. And we can randomize this by changing these sliders. I'll show you that in a minute. So we'll have polygons that are concaved and, you know, these whole polygons. And the reason why that's important is because this this solution that we have won't be... We can't solve it if the polygon is has segments that are crossing each other. Like if a line was going over another line, we can't do that. We can do concaves, but we can't do that. We can't solve that. So... All this is really doing, and let me 
explain kind of the different points that you see here. So we've got the four points that are making the polygon. We have our point that we're going to check if it's either in or out the polygon. So point in polygon, this point here. And then we've got the intersecting points, which is this one right here and that one. That's very important to solving this problem. And then we also have this center point. I call it a center point, but it's the center of the geometry. I just put a point there. That determines the direction of this line. So I say, okay, give me the start point. Look at this center point. That's the direction of the line. Now create a, a line that's 100 plus, you know, in length. To solve this problem, it's really easy. It is take this point, um, create a line in a distance infinitely, and see how many times it intersects with the geometry. So if it intersects um, a even amount of times, it is outside the the polygon. If it intersects a odd amount of times, it is inside the polygon. Here I've got a watch node because he, if we pan over here, you'll see there's an if statement that's just check in to see if it's in or out. This just dumps out a zero or one. That's what, and then we've got the true false zero for false, one for true. This is just this is just checking to see if it's either an even or odd. And and let me before I explain kind of what's going on with the nodes, I'll just randomize it or change this a little bit. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to find one that's inside so you can see that. Eventually we'll get it. Usually I get it event uh, pretty quickly, but this is taking forever. Um, so we can see there inside the polygon, uh, it's correct. And each of those uh, tries that we, or each of those iterations, we saw that it was correct. So you can see here, here's the start or the point, and then we can look over here, and that's the uh, intersection. So only a single time. So. Earlier when I said this is kind of easy, there's only a small portion of it doing the um, actual point in polygon check, is that most of this is actually checking to see, uh, or actually creating the polygon in it itself. Um, this here is, is helping with the line, uh, making sure that the line is within the parameters of the geometry so because these points are randomized I wanted to make sure that the line was always close to it or the points wasn't like way off in the middle of nowhere so that's what this is here so again not necessarily solving the problem this here is where it creates the point so there's our four points this is actually checking to see if it's intersecting or not. Or sorry, there's a condition. Um, or not a condition. There is a if it intersects condition, but I didn't have to use that. What I've done here is I've checked uh, the intersection uh, node here. And then created the polygon so you can see here this creates one so what this tells me is polygon dot by point um, will create a polygon this will create a convex hole which is like an exterior of um, of points and I'll show you a second kind of or I'll try to explain kind of what a convex hole does and let me so you see that visual there so it grabs all the exterior points uh, and then it doesn't connect the interior that's fine I can do that but I like to have like concaved polygons and 
that's why I've got this other one because it will connect all four points. But that also means sometimes we'll have intersecting polygons and that's what this is checking. It's just returning a point. And if that list um, isn't empty, it'll return true. In this case, it is, it's got something in it, so it returns false meaning that it returns this polygon here. So the po polygon you see in the workspace is actually coming from this here and not this one. Or sorry, not this one. Um, and then here's that center point I explained earlier. This is the, uh, the vector that's being created with um, the starting point and the um, center point. So it's a vector by um, two points that the vector is essentially the direction and then we've got a length of 200 and then a start point. This just, ch and then here's the actual problem being solved. So we've got the line and then here's the geometry intersects. If it's a single, that means the point is inside the polygon. And then we just do a count and then here we'll check to see if it's even or odd. And then uh, we've got this if, statement just checking that condition. Let me see if I can turn this to automatic so it's quicker. I want to show you guys the concaved one if I can actually get it. So here's a good example. We'll pan over here and then I'll show you guys that it's actually um, the other polygon so we can see here it's this one this time instead of this one because if this was a convex hole and let me actually turn the preview off you'll see it connects the it creates this bigger triangle ignoring the in inner triangle which is how a convex hole works the reason why I'm doing any of this is because I wanted those types of conditions because they're interesting uh, and I didn't I didn't always want like these types of polygons because these are just kind of boring and I wanted to show uh, various ways of, of s various polygons for this problem. And we'll see that this is outside so we can see the points right there. We can count that that's four times it's intersecting. So. Anyways, that's the, the problem. It, again, you know, think about how you can kind of extract different combinations of nodes or different ideas from these scripts and apply them in your own way. Having this skill, you build upon it. You know, it's, it's, the, it's like a foundation. You start to build it to support even more complicated ideas. Um, the more you get into like geometry related uh, problems is where these things become more handy. So anyways, I thought this was just a fun script to show. Again, if you want to check out, check it out, go to my GitHub, feel free to just download that and use it however way you want. Also uh, check out the Discord if you want to talk to other people uh, that are interested in this stuff. Uh, that link is below if you want to check it out. So that's what I got today. If you have any questions, reach out. Uh, definitely subscribe, like the channel, you know, all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching.